हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेट्रिक ऑस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर सी एस आई आर नेट जून टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड वी आर डूइंग दिस प्रॉब्लम इलेवन ऑफ द सेक्शन ए इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ जनरल एप्टीट्यूड लेट एस हैव अ लुक इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ फोर्टी फोर प्लेयर्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्ले हॉकी ट्वेंटी फोर प्ले फुटबॉल ट्वेंटी फोर प्ले क्रिकेट Eight of them play both hockey and football. Twelve play both football and cricket, and five play all the three games. How many play both hockey and cricket? So this is a set theory problem. We will solve this problem by using Venn diagram. So now see, this is the Venn diagram that we wanted. So the trick for the problem like this. is to begin with all those player who play hockey football and cricket so ev in every uh, any every problem like this what you have to pick you have to pick players or you can say persons who play all the three things all right so we have five players who play all the three games so now let us five inside this area so the, this this area actually represent All right. This area actually represents those uh, th uh, those player who play all the three games. All right. Now we what we want is how many play both hockey and cricket. So the players who play both hockey and cricket is this. This is their intersection. All right. So this is the intersection that we wanted. Now we will say the player who play. only hockey and cricket all right not all the three one so we will calling that number as x so what is x x is this portion who play only hockey and cricket it is not in, uh, including all those player who play all the three games are you getting my point so now you got what x is so you want this now you want x so we will find out x using some other method and what it will be it will be this that we see football and cricket who play football and cricket uh, we know that football and cricket where it is yes 12 play both football and cricket so in the intersection of football and cricket we have 12 player but we have already included five player here so in the rest of the area this area i am talking about this area so in this area how many play, player will lie seven because some should be 12 so seven players are over here yes now we know that we have 24 player in total who play cricket so this yellow ring actually represents 24 player it means that this portion All right, this portion we don't know what it is. So this portion plus all these three x plus five plus seven should be what? It should be twenty-four. Are you getting my point? Now we will uh, try to write. Before writing, let us see this: that the player who play hockey and football are uh, eight. So eight player play both hockey and football. So five are already included in this area. So who will lie in this remaining area? It will be uh, eight minus five. That that is that is three players. So three player lie will lie in this area. We know that twenty uh, six play hockey, twenty four play football, and twenty four play cricket. All right. So now let us hit and trial. So we have written everything what was needed in the Venn diagram. This actually represents the player who play only hockey. these players are not playing football and cricket similar thing is with this that this actually represents the player who play only football and this represents the player who play only uh, cricket all right so if x is 10 let us now substitute let us hit and trial to get our answer quickly suppose x is 10 so what will happen suppose x is 10 now uh, okay, all right so not x we are not talking about x actually we have to find out players who play hockey and cricket both hockey and cricket so both hockey and cricket represents this intersection are you getting my point so the options that are given to us is for this area so 
if one is true let us begin if one is true then what will happen x will be x plus 5 will be 10 that means x will be 5 now let us try to see can x be 5 all right so if x is 5 this sum will be 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 3 13 so this thing will be 13 all right so now uh, let us talk about this what it will be 3 plus uh, 5 sorry 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 7 17 so you will get this thing to be 7 now we are given with that uh, the sum for uh, this uh, the sum of the all the players is equal to 44 players so we should have 44 players in total let us see that uh, is it true or not so see if this thing is true if x is 5 then what will happen if you will add everything which is written so this should sum to 44 because we have 44 players in total so if we add everything which is which have we have written it should sum to 44 but see it is not summing up to 44 13 plus 9 will be uh, it will be 22 22 plus 7 will be 29 29 plus 3 32 32 plus 5 37 So I wrote that by mistake. It's 49. It's not 44, uh, 30, what I have written. All right. It's not that 39, I think. So we are getting 44 from this thing. So if X plus 5 is 10, then what we will get? We will get number of player to be 49. So this is wrong. All right. So first one is wrong. Now let us talk about the second. So second option tells us that X plus 5 is what? It is 15. So if X plus 5 is 15, it means x is 10 all right now let us calculate so see this is what we will get if we place x is equal to 10 we will get the player who play only hockey will be 8 and the play we, who player the player who play only cricket will be 2 so now let us sum 8 plus 9 plus 2 plus x plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 all right so if you will add all of this so see you will get 34 plus x now because x is 10 so you will get 44 as your answer that means second option is the correct now because second is correct so fourth and third will be incorrect so this is how you can solve this problem it's a easy problem you can try to think on this issue and you can get another method also to solve this problem there are many ways so if you if you uh, if you understand this problem, then there is no problem at all. But if you don't, then you can always ask in the comment section. And if you have any other doubt, you can join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Links are given in the description part of the video. Alright, so thank you.